Greetings everyone. Welcome to Mathematics, Geometry and Art Connection classes. Uh, in this class we're going to be learning how to make a design very well known as the mandala. Uh, the software that I'll be using is Geometry Sketchpad, specifically version 5. Uh, if you do not have this uh, software already, please uh, follow the links on the website uh, to uh, get it. And when we are done, we're going to be creating this beautiful uh, shape. Uh, when you're in Sketchpad, just open a new uh, window, new sketch, and I'm going to be uh, myself just adding a blank page here. And uh, the way we start is we start with uh, a circle. And what we're going to basically do is we're going to populate the circumference of the circle with points that are evenly spaced. You could decide how much the spacing is going to be. Uh, but for right now, for simplicity, I want to just have maybe a uh, 30 degree separation. Uh, so that means uh, I need uh, 12 of these. 360 is the full circle. Uh, if I want 12 of these, I need a 30 degree separation. So that's what I'm going to do. So the way we do that is by double clicking on the center of the circle. We are declaring it as the center of rotation. You could have also done this after you select the circle center by calling it mark center and you're gonna notice it does this boink thing and then what you do is you select this outer point of the circle and you go to transform rotate uh, in our case by 30 degrees so what you could do you could actually keep doing this again and again until the circle is populated uh, with these uh, 30 degree separated points and I'm going to show you a better method in a second, but you could actually keep doing this until it's completely finished. Or, let me just undo this. Uh, as you know, it's uh, Control z or Apple z uh, After you created your first uh, rotation, what you could do is you could select the original point, transform point, and then when you go to transform, menu there is something called define custom transform this is one of the glorious uh, aspects of geometry sketchpad 5.0 it allows you to define your transformation I'm gonna call this a 30 degree rotation so that I will remember what it does once I have selected this look what I can do I can go to my custom transformation which uh, in my menu is also there's a shortcut uh, Apple one uh, once you have done this, observe, it's going to keep doing it. So I'm just going to do Control 1 and look what's going to happen. Hop, 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 hop. The whole circle is populated uh, with these points. Uh, remember, there is a way to do this uh, manually, just one by one rotating. Now the fun begins. What we're going to do is we're going to join a particular point to all the other points. You can think of these as sort of generating the diagonals of a regular polygon. So once I have done this on one side, which by the way, you could manually do all of this by yourself, but there is beauty of working with technology that will uh, save us some time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this thing that I have created uh, by double clicking on this central diameter here. I'm declaring it as a mirror. You could have also done it by going to transform menu, mark mirror. And once you have done this, I select everything that I am hoping to reflect across that diameter. And when I reflect, boom. Now here is something that's going to blow your mind. Once we have selected, once we have created this set of diagonals, by the way, I can select them all one by one. Or what I can do is I can go to the Segment tool. And when I go to Edit, uh, what used to be Select All is now Select All Segments. I select all the segments. And now I can apply my 30 degree rotation. Look what's going to happen. Boom. And I'm going to now use my Apple One shortcut or control one depending what soft, uh, what computer system you're using. 
uh, and observe what's going to happen. Boom, boom, boom. The next thing you know is uh, our mandala is uh, completed. At this point, um, you have all kinds of decisions you can make. You could say, well, I want to make all of my uh, segments. And remember how I did that. I went to the segment tool. I want to select all segments. Uh, and then I could say, you know what? I want them to be uh, thicker. Uh, you might say, no, I didn't like it too much. You might make it uh, medium size, etc. Uh, you could uh, decide on the color, etc. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to actually color them yellow. You might wonder why I'm making it yellow. I'm making it yellow even though with a white background it looks horrible. Uh, what I'm going to now do is I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences and I'm going to change the background color to black. I kind of like black backgrounds. And once I'm done with that, uh, look how cool it looks. The artistically mind uh, among you might feel, well, let's hide the points. It will look better. So I select the point tool. I go to select and then I select all became select all points. And then I can go to display and uh, hide these points. You might uh, want to give uh, whatever thickness you've given to the uh, line segments. You could also uh, give the, uh, the circle the same thickness. Now here is your mandala. And you could imagine all kinds of variations on this. Uh, some of the obvious ones that come to your mind, uh, that you could uh, think about it, but comes to my mind is... Uh, uh, Rotating by an angle different than 30 degrees. You could make it denser, less dense. Uh, you could do all kinds of things. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, but to be able to show you that, uh, I have to reveal the points back. Once you have created a design like this in Sketchpad, uh, you could actually select everything and turn it into a custom tool. You could make a tool that is a mandala tool, believe it or not. Um, and let's call our tool mandala. And now, if I go to a new page by going File, Document, Options, add a blank page. You could also duplicate an existing page if you wanted. Uh, let me show you what the whole thing looks like once you OK that. Uh, observe the tool that I have is now usable uh, from scratch. Why this might be useful, uh, let's actually, maybe let's make everything black so we can see better. The advantage of something like this is now let's say you want it to have, you want to just play with this thing you created. You could say, you know what, I'm going to now go from here to there. I'm going to go, I don't know, from here to there. I'm going to go from here to there. And I hope you just realize the infinite possibilities for creativity here. Uh, you could make all kinds of very cool looking things. You could have all kinds of coloring options, uh, etc. Uh, but let's actually color everything the same way. So let's select all things. I want to color them black. I kind of feel everything is getting too thick, so I'm going to make them actually very thin so I can see better. I'll observe that with the help of this tool that we have, you're able to compose a design that is much, much more complicated than what you had before. Uh, I kind of want to make my points here uh, a little bit smaller. I feel, given everything we have, they are way too big. Okay? So you could really do all kinds of stuff, uh, and you could have some fun. Alrighty, I hope you had a good time. Uh, enjoy, and let me know the kind of works that you're doing.